Hello, I am Virtual Pix, and welcome to Will You Press the Button. Now, I'm hoping this will actually be quite funny because I'm socially awkward, so a lot of these things are going to be uh, difficult for me to answer, to say the least. Um, but this first one is kind of like the best thing it could have loaded up with because that just sounds like my life already, pretty much. So, minus the teleporting power. Yeah. I found the settings button, which is quite good. And I managed to actually finally fix my flash player. I don't actually know what was wrong with it. It just didn't want to work. And then apparently reinstalling it. Well, actually just installing it over the top of what was already there fixed it. Because that's how you fix computers, apparently. Super itchy nose. I hate it when my nose gets itchy. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? You would not be granted. Well, uh, there. You would be granted any three wishes. Regardless of your wishes, you will not be able to. But you would be. Oh. And this is exactly what I meant by my social awkwardness. You could go on any three wishes, regardless of your wishes, you'd be fisted daily by a blue head deity. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. I don't think I'll be going with that one. No, I'm not sure how many people would. 34% of people would do that. Okay. Um, yeah, carrying on. Uh, you get a sandwich. You aren't really hungry. I don't see how that's a dilemma. I could get a sandwich just by walking out and going and getting a sandwich from the shop. Am I hungry? No. I just could. How is that a dilemma? I oh, screw it, I'm going to press it just to see the cool effect. Oh, okay, apparently the cool effect doesn't really work. I broke it again. I fixed it and then broke it. <laughs> wow, grandma Nazis is much. <laughs> well, at least I'm with the 78% of people who just press the button for the sheer hell of it. Because. It's a free sandwich, just because you aren't hungry then there doesn't mean you have to eat it then and there. Increase your IQ by 50 points, become extremely unattractive. Um. No! I I'm perfectly happy with my IQ where it is, thanks. I don't need to actually know what my IQ is, so. And no, I'm not going to do a test. Because I don't actually think those things are accurate at all. But yeah, that's a good one, I guess. Yeah, I think. I'm not entirely certain about that. Uh, you can attract any person of the opposite gender, you, well, of the opposite gender you want. It robs them of their voluntary choice to be with you. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Rob someone of their voluntary choice to be with someone else. You know, all morals aside, I wouldn't do that. Just because I know deep down that person wouldn't be happy. And that what goes on deep down in my head isn't really so deep down for me. It's more like it just sits there and pounds away at the side of my skull constantly. Well, it's an exact 50-50 split. Wow. That I did not expect. I actually expected that to be heavily weighed to one side or the other, but apparently not. Yeah, it was a good one. I like that one. Uh, you can travel through space and time. Every time you do so, you find yourself in a live, uh, live or die situation. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. That sounds f fun as all hell. Pretty much daily life anyway. Yeah, carrying on. 
Zombie invasion. You can save the world, you'll die. Um, no. If there's a zombie invasion, I want to be up the front line shooting fuckers. I can't do that from dead. Uh, really? With the chain messages? They're everywhere. I just I can't get away from them. They're even coming through on my phone now. Uh, what did I ever do? You're the best singer in the whole world from past to present to future. You'll never be able to sing in front of a person. Um, this might just be me, but I'm failing to see the dilemma there. Because if you can never sing in front of another person, then you can't be the best singer in the world. It's not possible. It's the best singer in the world. Well, being the best singer in the world would be a matter of perception. Because it's you, your own perception doesn't count. Or at least I wouldn't count my own perception. So, it's kind of a mute point. So, no. I don't go along with mute points unless I get free sandwiches out of them. Mmm, sandwich. You can take pictures with your eyes. You can never delete them off your brain. I do that anyway! That's pretty much what your eyeballs are. They're just two cameras, well, biological cameras stuck in your skull, and every picture they save can never be deleted. That's why you should always be really careful what you put into Google. There are some things that just shouldn't, should not ever be searched. Don't try it. I would recommend you don't try it. So, yeah, screw it, because that's probably basically real life anyway. Is anyone at the... No, no one's left any comments for that. <laughs> at all. Um, I think that's because that's kind of obvious. You get anything you want for free. Who? Go at something or other and narrate your thoughts and actions for the rest of your life out loud. I don't even know who that is. And narrating every one of my thoughts and actions for the rest of my life, I don't think any human could physically speak that fast and let alone understand it. And I don't mean it just from an actions point of view, I mean from the point of view of the amount of things that go through my head in any given se second. I'm not even sure how I count, how I manage to focus. That half the time I don't, that's probably why I forget so much. But yeah, we'll go for that, because I don't think that would actually be physically possible. <laughs> oh! Now that, I, I kind of wish I'd knew that beforehand. Uh, having the voice of Aladdin narrate my life. You can see the future, nobody will believe you. So, just basically what you'd call a psychic nowadays? Just actually being able to see the future. You know, I wouldn't give a shit if anyone, if no one believed me, because I could see the future. I'd be able to see everything. I could see the lottery numbers for like the next 300 years and be fucking rich as all fuck. And no one would ever believe that I just foretold it in the future. So, yeah, I'd go for that. There's, there's ways you could use that if you were smart enough to, to figure out what to do with it. And you'd also have to be looking for certain information. So, yeah, that's a good one. Awkward questions be awkward, hence why I just skipped the question. In fact, right now I think the awkward turtle is kind of just slowly slithering its way across my desk. Well, that was a bit of a unique description. Yeah, that's, what, that's exactly what was going through my head as I said that was, I thought a sliver? Oh, I just realised that no one can actually hear me speak, it will hear you, so they, I'm now literally talking to myself. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> so I never mind talking to a camera or the viewers, I'm talking to myself. Oh dear, what, what has happened to me today? <laughs> I think I just shouldn't have woken up. Might have been a good idea. You can run, run, and jump. Wait, you can run, run, 
and jump really fast, high and far. Far, okay. Right, it's because you have prosthetic feet. So you can run really fast and you can jump really high and far, but it's because you have prosthetic feet. Um, I would have thought that that would have been a given anyway, considering that running really fast, there's probably some negative effects to the human skeletal structure on that. Jumping really high, like if you actually jump too high, you can really do your knees especially some serious damage over the years, and if you jump too high, you can just outright break your legs because they implode on themselves. So... Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, I guess. I could jump really high, that'd be fun. Yeah, I'd play basketball and actually do the slam dunks, and I wouldn't even have to worry about whether I was going to make it to the hoop halfway from the court, because I could just... Whoop, and in it goes. Not that I actually play basketball, but oh well. You obtain the sword capable of slicing through anything, uh, but it can talk and is incredibly annoying will try to mess with you. So, my ghost in sword form? Fuck you! Apparently my ghost swears at me as well, so yeah, my ghost in sword form. And it throws things at me. So yes, I'll agree with that. So that does it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click that like button. Stay as soon as always. And I will see you later in the next video.